next. It's a featherweight title fight between the Warrior and Haymaker. Haymaker set to enter the octagon tonight and set to leave with the UFC featherweight championship belt around his waist. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Hey, baby, steps into the octagon, and this time, he wants to leave with the belt. Making his way to the octagon, looking to defend his championship belt. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Enters the octagon for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Haymaker is 26. The Warrior is 34. He is two inches taller. He will have a seven-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. The action begins. Our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 138 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Haymaker. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 32 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, USA, presenting. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. The Warrior. There you go. First round. Hey, you ready? Baker. You ready? Hey, Here go. we go. Fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. He's coming off a submission victory in his last UFC fight. The finish was dynamic. And tonight, he'd like to earn another stoppage. Oh, he got caught there. Big oh. shot. Oh. Wow. Big straight punch.
back up his feet. Good connection with the straight by Parker. That's a heavy body kick. Good. Oh, huge right hand. With the right hand. <laughs> How good was wow. that? Oh. oh, my. He got rocked. Boy, he is in big trouble, oh. Mike. He connects with the left. Man, he just missed. <laughs> Solid jab. Goes down. Flying oh. knee. Lands a hard kick. Oh, nice. Flying knee. Oh, Big knee right there. Oh, and he goes up top with the kick. Hard shot from the clinch. Oh, huge suplex. Parker gets back up again. They are really battling for position in the clinch. Thirty seconds. Joni lands another takedown here. Outstanding wrestling. He's back up to his feet. Faints with the kick. Trying to grab the leg, and he does. And the round comes to an end. And he'll live to fight another five minutes. Haymaker's set to fight another round. But he was just saved by the bell. He came very close to being submitted there, Mike. And let's take a look here. Big power on this punch and results in a knockdown. And here we see isolating the leg, but can't get it. And let's see if we could get a better look at that from this angle. Jenny getting a set for round two. Here we go, second round, you ready? Ready? Let's round go. two. As this battle continues, the champion continues to showcase his skills. He continues to show us why he has a UFC belt. Wow! Body kick, look at that. Hard straight punch. Oh, big right. Nice flying knee attempt there. Head kick. Big power jab. <laughs> nice oh, nice. Leg kick. All right, there he goes. He got his back up against the cage here. Tries a flying punch here, but doesn't quite connect. Huge oh, shot big right hand. Wow, swing and a miss. Man, big strike. Combination. Man, 
and he just missed. Head kick! Oh, head kick! Oh, looking for his back. Back up. Good jab. Haymaker's left eye is closing up. He just whips that punch in. 15 seconds. Another good strike. That'll do it for round number two. All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a big shot that almost ends this fight. Here's a perfectly placed knee that does some real damage. And here's a flying knee with excellent timing. Incredible highlights in that round. Okay, you gotta hurt. Next round coming out, it's gonna be simple. Carly getting us set for round three. Start of the third round of this championship fight. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Wow! Big punch! Strong jab. left hand. Oh, stunning jab. We're going to your feet now for me. And he's up. Jab. Man, he's using his jab well in this fight. Big shot. Oh, the big right hand. Man, he's got it. That shot dropped. That's it. He's out. He's out. Wow. Gigantic hook that got him the win. Time now for our fight replay. And let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly in big, big trouble. Let's take a look at it one more time. Here's the knockdown. Vicious strike. Look at this. Boom! Wow! Bruce Bumper has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mallory Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 53 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Hakan. The warrior remains the UFC featherweight champion.
Up next, it's a featherweight title bout between the Warrior and Diesel. Diesel set for the biggest fight of his life as he battles for the UFC featherweight championship. As he steps towards his cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Octagon looking to defend his belt. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The Warrior is six years his elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, and now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch that, do it now. Go back it's the phone. battle that we've been talking about for a long, long time. And it's about to begin. The Warrior. Are you ready? Diesel. You ready? And oh. here we go. The featherweight title is on the line. Tonight's championship fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. White trunks for Diesel. Black trunks for the champion. Show why he looks to evolve in all facets of mixed martial arts. For this camp, it's been all about jujitsu. He has worked very hard on his grappling skills. He would love to showcase them tonight and earn a victory by submission. He's got the clinch. Back to over under control. They're working hard here in the clinch. Dominance. Close. Oh, big one. Wrestling dominance. There he goes, stand up. 
Good kick to the leg of his opponent. Both men landing in that exchange. Wow. Oh, I don't beautiful know. uppercut. Yep. Man, wow. big strike. Oh, he's landing at will. Oh, big kick. Strong jab. He's landing some shots. Jab. Oh, did he snap that kick? What a jab. Wow, another big jab score. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. He connects with the left. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Oh, oh. A combination. Big kick just missed. Hard jab. Good, good shot, shot right there. Very good shot. Oh, and another one. That hurt him. Connects with a straight right hand. Big right hand. Man, he's Nuke down. That shot out. dropped him. That's something. it. He's out. And he's it's out. All the over. fight is over. Wow. Excellent timing here to land a huge left for the victory. Once again, here's our fight replay. Let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly hurt badly here. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Great angle here. Oh, man. K.O. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hot Guy. The Warrior remains the UFC featherweight champion.
Up next, it's a featherweight title fight between the Warrior and Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher set to enter the octagon tonight and set to leave with the UFC featherweight championship belt around his waist. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Bone Crusher steps into the octagon, looking to become the new UFC champion. UFC champion and a future member of the UFC Hall of Fame. Entering the octagon for the last time in his mixed martial arts career, he enters with the belt he wants to leave as a UFC champion. He has said win or lose, tonight is his last fight, but he wants to win in this fight and leave a legacy that will last forever. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape. For this featherweight championship fight, the Warrior is four years his elder. He is four inches taller. He will have an eight-inch reach advantage. Introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Herb G. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around. Bone Crusher. Hey. Here yeah. we go! Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Wow! Oh! Oh! Right on his head! Oh, he's oh, back on his feet. He's got the leg. Securing the leg in position. And he's out. Wow, he got his leg out. I thought it was over. Switching his stance up a little bit. Wow! Teeing away. Oh, head kick. Solid jab. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Oh, and another one. That hurt him. Right hand. Man, he just 
just missed. Oh, solid jab. Big combination. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Oh, and another jab. Great utilization of the jab. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things jab, up. Jab. Oh, big, big head kick, kick. And jump. Strong jab. Vicious combinations. Lands a hard kick. Head kick. Big kick, but miss. Oh, Joe, another strong jab. Big oh, kick to the head. He's, hard. He's stunned. Boy, he is in big trouble, Mike. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Oh, stunning jab. Hard straight oh, punch. Oh, big right, big right hand. Trying to finish it right here. Big punch from the top. Oh, he's out. It's over. It's over. Ground and pound KO. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. And let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly hurt badly here. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Check out this angle here. Boom! Right on the button. With the official decision, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes of the very first round. Going to win her by knockout and still the undisputed USP and race champion of the world, Hunt Guy. We knew tonight, win or lose, in this championship fight, that he would be walking away from the octagon. He was determined to walk away with the belt and he achieved that. What's next? Entrance into the UFC Hall of Fame.